Let's talk Tanya for the seventh of ER. We've discussed in the previous chapters different levels and different entryways to love of God, and today we're going to start chapter 45, and we are going to be talking about a unique type of love, or a unique entryway to love, which is through compassion. We know that we have three forefathers, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and each one of them excelled and epitomized a certain um, a certain attribute. Avraham was chesed, kindness. Yitzchak was givura, severity. And Yaakov was teferas, beauty, but which is also known as compassion. What's the connection? We'll find out about that later on in Tanya, chapter 15 of Vigar HaKodesh and some other places as well. Because we are the children of the forefathers, every single one of us, we serve God with all three of these uh, attributes, with kindness, with severity, kindness and severity which are associated with love and with awe, and also with compassion. However, every single one of us also has a natural um, strength in one of these attributes. Some of us are more chesed, some of us are more gevura, some of us are more rachmim, more compassion. So this chapter will talk specifically to those people whose souls are rooted more in Yaakov, in compassion. What is this compassion all about? We need to awaken and arouse compassion on our souls. Recognize before our souls, before our neshama came down into our body. So where was, where was my neshama? Where was my soul? My soul was in Gan Eden, where I was studying Torah, where I was basking in God's radiance, experiencing intimacy with God, it led a purely spiritual existence. And then what happens? The soul comes down over here. It enters a physical body, a coarse body. And what do we want down here? A body that is filled with temptations and desires, materialism, character flaws. There is no greater descent. There is no greater fall than when the neshama comes from the highest of the high and comes down over here and enters a body. Now, is it necessary? Yeah. Is there a reason for it? Is there a plan? Absolutely. But none of that minimizes the rachmanis, the mercy, the compassion that we should be having in our soul, and its state of, you might want to say, incarceration in our body. And that is even before we mess up, before we do any sins. Even for a tzaddik, a tzaddik who has never done anything wrong, the very fact that the neshama comes down into the body is considered a tremendous yurida, tremendous descent. We know that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai, before he passed away, he said, when I pass away, don't mourn, because when I pass away, it's a hilula, it's like a wedding. Finally, my soul is going to be reunited with God. And this is Rav Shimon Bar Yechai, the author of the Zayar. He too, when his soul comes down over here, it's a tremendous descent. When a person does sins, when a person does averis, it's even worse. Can you imagine the Rahman and the Neshama? How the soul must feel trapped in a body, a body that's doing things that are contrary to God's desires. And it's not only about the soul. Because our soul is connected to God, when we do a sin, we're actually dragging God down with us and with our soul into the mud, into the dirt, and into the filth. The verse says, Yazev Rasha Darkoi Vishavan Machshavisov, that a Rasha should leave, a wicked person should leave his ways, the Yashev al Hashem and should return to God, the Rachmeu, and have mercy on him. Now, the simple understanding, virachmeu, he will have mercy on him, means that when you return to God, God will have mercy on you. But the Alter Rebbe says it means something else also. Vi Hashem, return to God, virachmeu, and have mercy on God. Understand that when you do a sin, it's not only yourself that you're schlepping into the, into the dirt. Because your soul is connected to God, you're schlepping God also down into the, into the dirt, into the filth. That's step number one. Step number one is, again, Having compassion, feeling, thinking about it, and feeling compassion on your soul and on God. How is that going to lead to love? That will be the topic of tomorrow's Tanya.